because it's been so hot and humid. Currently, it's in the upper 70s, the low 80s. It still feels like around 87, 88 degrees when you factor in all that mugginess. That mugginess makes us feel hot. Tomorrow, there is a chance of a thunderstorm. There is a chance of a thunderstorm, but the likelihood is a lot of us won't see it. If there is a thunderstorm, it'll be heavy, you know, torrential rainfall, heavy downpours. So no, it'll get you soaked in a second. You'll need the umbrella if you're under that thunderstorm. Now I'm going to focus on temperatures. And when I come back at 45 in the morning, I work in the morning normally, and I say, okay, at 45 after the hour, I do the extended rain look. But right now we talk about temperatures. Looking at July so far, think about this. The average high in July is 85 degrees. We have been above that average high 11 days, only below three, only below three days. Well, for the city, it says we're running three degrees above that average high of 88 or 85. So we're running at 88 for New Jersey. We're at 90 degrees, so we're running about three or four degrees above their average high as well. Now, I know you're screaming at the TV. You're saying, wait a minute. It feels a lot hotter than three degrees hotter than our, our average high of like 85. You're right. This does not factor in the moisture content in the atmosphere. We call it heat indices. When you take the moisture with the air temperature and you come up with a feel like temperature, we have felt like 95 to 99 degrees right here in the city most of the month. Therefore, we're probably we're really running about 14 degrees above that average high of 85. So it has been brutally hot because of all the moisture in the atmosphere. And tomorrow, no relief here from Levittown, Long Island, from Yonkers, Westchester, Newark, New Jersey and Hoboken, Fordham, the Bronx, as well as Harlem and Mar in Manhattan. The feel like temperature range is 92 to 100 degrees. And if you're if you're using the car tomorrow, Turn around, make sure nobody's in the car. Don't leave your child or your pet because within 20 minutes, the actual air temperature will exceed 125 degrees because of this southwest wind. Wednesday, you don't see a big difference, but you see the magenta color here. What that means is this is, this is not a feel like temperature. It, there's the possibility of hitting the century mark, hitting 100 degrees, triple digit heat that we haven't seen in 12 years. So the range could be 100 in the city, maybe 101 uh, for the Bronx and about 103 for Newark. That's the actual air temperature. In the boroughs, you can go to the fire department, kids. You know this. I say this in the morning all the time. Go knock on the fire department door, say, Byron sent us. Please come out and give us the fire, you know, the cap and open up the fire hydrant so the kids can run through the water because it is going to be excessively heat. You've got to be in some water or in the house with AC. Record temperatures possible, Kitey. Uh, Tuesday, if we get up to 99, we'll go back to 1980 and tie that record, which has been standing 44 years. And then on Wednesday, 1953, that's a long time ago. And we could tie that record. That just shows you that these are hard temperatures to reach, but it's possible. Now to you.